Good morning. How do we imagine new and interesting ways of being with one another to support each other through an increasingly volatile world? I'm convinced that it is amongst those at the periphery of society, the other amongst the migrants like me, particularly amongst migrant artist collectives that I will find interesting models of support. This morning, I'm reaching out to Tomasz, a member of the Migrant Artist Collective Art Nomads in Ireland, for a short recorded conversation about my current research on ideas about the exercise of support. Good morning, Tomasz. Good morning, Grash. Tell me, Tomasz, tell me a little bit about yourself first. My name is Tomasz Madajczak. I come originally from Poland. I live in Ireland for about 18 years at this stage. I was living in different parts of Ireland, experiencing different communities and different dynamics in the north, in the middle of Ireland, and now I'm based in West Cork. Um, and recently it happened so that I became a member of this collective called Art Nomads. Um, I live here in West Cork in quite secluded place, uh, I have my studio in the countryside, uh, not far from the sea, um, and I don't meet too many people. And especially these years when we had the pandemic, I was staying very much indoors. I was staying in my own space. I was collaborating with many artists uh, all around the world through the internet, uh, implementing their ways of working in my studio. But still, I was staying very much on my own. So I think this kind of solitude uh, creates a question for me. How do we relate to, to each other? One of the things that defines art nomads is how we are so different, not just in our various uh, practices as artists, but uh, in our backgrounds from different parts of the world, our traditions, our languages, our cultures. Um, we've all come together and formed um, a bond, a relationship of friendship with people who are not like us. People, so, some people say, you know, we are all the same species. We are all people. Yeah, we look the same. We feel the same. We have similar metabolisms. We have bodies. We have sensual experiences. And it is true. It is like that. But yet none of us knows how the other feels, how the other really feels. You know, we can imagine, we can imagine a lot. Uh, and we project and we imagine that what we project is actually true, but we can never really be 100% sure that uh, what, whatever we are experiencing, that we can relate to that as ultimate truth. So what, what I'm trying to say is that uh, when the Art Nomads Collective happened, when, when it sort of formed, I myself, I, I, I wasn't prepared for that. I was this solitary artist working on my own projects. And then this exhibition happened and, and suddenly someone brought up a possibility that we create a group. And, and I wasn't sure how to think about it. Uh, so I guess I, I depended everything on this uh, sort of openness and, and hope and some sort of a projection for the best. And I think that's what is so amazing because within that difference and within the strengths that we have, each of us, I think we can really hold the process really strongly together. And of course, the disagreements and discussions, I, I think they're fantastic way of bringing it really far together. So I think that that support is, is quite amazing. We had um, an activity amongst us. Um, we did a book reading together. Um, um, and uh, some of us liked the book, some of us didn't. 
And we're going to revisit that activity. I'm going to go back to the same book with a few other people. Um, I, I saw one of your responses to uh, another member of Art Nomads who did not like the book. And you said, the fact that you didn't like the book is interesting and will be um, uh, a wonderful place to start or a potent place to to uh, you know to bring you into the discussion right well, could you talk to me through that well the the book I, as as i was reading the book i was thinking okay the the book the idea of reading the book is uh is an idea to get together somehow to get together in a different way um so as i was reading the book i was following the story i was reading the story i was thinking about the story but i was think also thinking about the group and i was thinking about the fact that we are all reading the same story that we are okay that we have our own lives but now we are joining in the story of this uh, life of those two people and and whatever is happening around them and to them on the beginning i was drawn back i thought wow it is, it is possible not to like this book. And, and I was thinking about it. And, and the more I was thinking about it, the more, the more I was fascinated by the fact that, yes, now we have this division. Now we have this space that has been created where someone can talk from the other perspective. Yes, because I really like it. So, but I don't have to hold to the way I think about it. I can also look at the way the other person thinks about it. And, and that's for me is, is so precious and amazing because uh, I think only that way we can, we can grow and expand our, our, our vision. Uh, and I think that allows to go really, really deep and hold one another while the process is deepening because there are places where sometimes we haven't been yet and it might be quite tricky and difficult to navigate what, what is happening to us, what is happening to our thoughts, what, what is happening to us emotionally, what is happening to us uh, as, as people if we don't have that support uh, within the new spaces uh, that the work can open up. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you for agreeing, agreeing to do this. I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you very much, Raj.